Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and welcome to a announcement video. Okay, so this is going to be the first time for me. Um, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. So Saturday, I'm going to make room in my busy schedule to make a stream. Oh my gosh, a stream. <gasps> what? Yes, a stream. Um, this stream won't, you know, it's only going to be about an hour too long. It's going to start somewhere around 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, United States, you know, that area. I apologize if this is midnight for you. I'm unable to currently, with today's technology, stream at convenient times for everyone around the world. That'd be cool, though, if I could, right? Omnipresence. Sweet. Got to give me some of that. So what is this stream going to be about? Well, it's going to be about the insane career mode that I've been working on. We are going to be testing testing crafts that can get us to the moon. Not land, but just get us to the moon and back safely, preferably. You have to remember that this is insane career mode, so everything is against us. Everything is literally, literally trying to kill us financially and uh, part-wise. If you've noticed up here, we start off with negative a million on pretty much everything except for money. We started like with 3,000 Kerbal Bucks. Science is set to 10%, so you're not going to get much out of anything. Oh, and the best part is, is that if uh, if we fail the contract to the moon, oh well, oh, well, actually no, we don't have any failure stuff. Cool, but still, look at all that cheddar. Look at that cheddar. We gotta get some of that cheddar. But regular contracts, if you, you know, fail, minus 90,000 Kerbal Bucks, minus 40,000 reputation, and uh, if we decline it, 10 million reputation. Um, of course, um, it's not million, but you know what I mean. Basically, if you accept a contract, you had better complete it, because if not, the results is the death of your space agency. Fun, right? I mean, hell, I can't even use these guys because my reputation is like minus 96%. I can't get monies or anything, science, you name it. It's gonna be a while. Not to mention just to upgrade the launch pad is 500,000 Kerbal Bucks. Talk about grind. 2 million to upgrade the VAB. <laughs> 4 million to upgrade the research center. <laughs> yes. And of course, like I said before, uh, we've got like the start package unlocked we have basic rocketry unlocked now this right here we have the swivel unlocked and we paid for it but i recently upgraded to kerbal space Pro program 1.12.2 and unfortunately when they reskinned the swivel they sort of forgot to i guess make sure that if you've already bought the swivel that you'd get it so i'd have to buy it again so when i'm in kerbal space <laughs> When I'm in the career mode, I'm sort of using the same swivel engine from the old version that's already on my rocket. And we'll keep doing that until I feel like I have enough money to just go ahead and buy the new skinned version. Look at this, Engineering 101. I just have these two. That's it. Survivability. We have all the uh, parachutes and stuff and the science doohickey. I may get a heat shield. We'll see. I mean, it's, it's cheap. 600 Kerbal Bucks, but uh, I say Kerbal Butts. Kerbal Butts? What? Kerbal Bucks. Kerbal Bucks? I don't know. Basically, in the live stream, we will be talking about the future of this channel. I'm planning on actually playing other games, but not in replace. I'm not going to replace the Kerbal Space Program games. The Kerbal Space Program games will come out in the mornings, just like always. But every now and then, maybe around 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to throw out a game that's not Kerbal Space Program, if I have time to make it. These games, of course, I'll be putting together very quickly, so they might only be like five or six minutes long. But what games I'm talking about are like Satisfactory, maybe some Minecraft building games designing games, surviving games, survival games. You have, there's even a game out there called Stranded Deep, where you have to survive an island, kind of like the whole castaway with Tom Hanks thing going on. But you build stuff, which is pretty cool. There's actually a space game out there where you build your own ship as you go along throughout the solar system and universe, mining for materials and fighting aliens and pirates and stuff. I forget what it's called off the top of my head, but that might be cool to watch. Made a few videos on that, actually, back in the day when I was wearing a Mandalorian helmet. Yes, I made several videos where I was wearing a Mandalorian helmet with a type of face cam thing. If you dig deep enough, you might find those videos. If you do, please be gentle. I'm sensitive. So that's pretty much it for this announcement. And hello, Sammy LaPeace? Is that French? Welcome.
Welcome to the fold. Oh no, what did I join? Space cult. So hopefully during this live stream, not only will we be, like I said, we're testing out, we're testing out um, Mun Rockets for the insane extreme career mode, which means that we won't actually be playing in career mode. We'll be playing in sandbox mode, but adhering to the rules of the career mode, like 30 parts, only allowed 30 parts, and I think it's like maximum of 18 tons, and of course the parts that we have in career mode unlock. And once we get that rocket, we're Working. Then I can go ahead and bring it over to the career mode, cross our fingers, select our sec uh, astronaut, and try to complete that moon contract. Because we don't have to land on the moon, we just have to fly around it. Now, I've been talking to a lot of people, and they've said that it's basically impossible to get to the moon with the level of tech that I have with the tier 1 launch pad, and being extremely limited to only 30 parts at 18 tons. I mean, extremely limited. The oh ho ha 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 Right? We have virtually oh boy <laughs> <laughs> we have virtually almost nothing. Virtually. Yes. But I will get a Kerbal to the moon. How far into it? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All of you can relax. Relax. I've been playing this game for an extremely long time. A lot of the new stuff that came in, I'm still learning, like the inventory system. So yeah, fun stream around 4 o'clock Saturday, Eastern Standard Time, America. America. Where we'll be talking about the future of the channel and, of course, trying to build a Mun rocket in Sandbox, but for our insane career mode. We'll be running simulations, basically. I'm allowed simulations. We have extreme insane career mode where everything's against me. I'm allowed a freaking simulation. <laughs> all right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of this channel. Have a great day today. Love you all. Take care, and I hope to see you 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Saturday. Just Google it if you don't know what time that is in your part of the world. See you then. Bye for now. Bye-bye.